Well, thank you all for being here, and uh, it is my great privilege uh, to be on my second visit to Israel as Vice President of the United States, uh, but to have the honor uh, to welcome Prime Minister Netanyahu to the American Embassy here in Jerusalem, the capital of the State of Israel, uh, is a particular privilege for me, and Mr. Prime Minister, welcome. Thank you, Mr. Vice President. What an honor for us. Thank you. Well, uh, we just completed a conversation um, about regional issues and earlier today. I want to congratulate uh, the Prime Minister and uh, uh, President Rivlin uh, for an extraordinary uh, commemoration of the 75th anniversary of the liberation of Auschwitz. Uh, to have 49 nations represented here uh, standing in solidarity uh, with uh, all of those that were uh, killed in the Holocaust, uh, with, uh, with the survivors, uh, and to speak with one voice, uh, never again, and uh, to make a clarion condemnation of anti-Semitism was truly inspiring. And Mr. Prime Minister, I want to congratulate you on bringing so many nations of the world together around uh, that uh, anniversary uh, but also around that uh, that renewed uh, oh, that renewed call uh, for leadership to apply the lessons that were learned in those dark days. Uh, Give me the phone. Uh, let me also say uh, uh, we just completed uh, a conversation uh, uh, about uh, plans for next week. Uh, uh, President Trump uh, asked me to extend an invitation to Prime Minister Netanyahu to come to the White House next week to discuss uh, regional issues as well as the prospect of peace uh, here in the Holy Land. Uh, at the Prime Minister's suggestion, uh, I also extended an invitation to Benny Gantz, uh, the leader of the Blue and White Party, and he has accepted uh, the invitation to join uh, the Prime Minister uh, with the President at the White House next week. And Mr. Prime Minister, I'm, uh, I'm grateful that you accepted the invitation and we look very much forward uh, to welcome you to our nation's capital to contin continue discussions about uh, a broad range of issues, uh, mutual concern between the United States and Israel, but also about the prospect of peace. So thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Vice President, first let me say that you spoke exceptionally movingly today both in the substance and the depth of feeling that you conveyed. And it was a universal expression of a firm moral stance to translate memory into action. And you are translated into action. President Trump and you uh, are standing against the worst manifestation of anti-Semitism. Uh, and that is the call of Iran to wipe out the six million and more Jews of Israel. Uh, you spoke about it clearly today, and you act clearly uh, every day. So I want to uh, I want to express my uh, congratulations to you uh, for coming here, for what you said, and for what you, and what President Trump and your administration is doing every single day on behalf of Israel's security. We have had no better friend than President Trump. That friendship is expressed in the fact that we're in the American Embassy in Jerusalem. That uh, Jerusalem was recognized by President Trump as Israel's capital. That President Trump has recognized Israel's sovereignty over the Golan Heights. Uh, and now, with this invitation, uh, I think that the President is seeking to give Israel peace and security, the peace and security that it deserves. So I gladly accept your invitation, his invitation, to come to Washington 
and discuss with him his ideas on how to advance peace and to work closely with him to advance that goal. Um, I suggested that Benny Gantz be invited to this uh, event as well because I think that it's important that we do not lose this historic opportunity with such friends in the White House, with such backing from the United States, we should get as broad a consensus as possible uh, around the efforts to achieve security and peace, peace and security for the state of Israel. Uh, I look forward to doing both. And I thank you again for your extraordinary friendship. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Prime Minister. Can I, uh, Mr. Vice President? Mr. Ambassador. Yeah, thank you. If I can just stand for one second. Uh, Mr. Vice President, Mr. Prime Minister, if you could stand together with President Trump, no three people have done more to cause this historic move of the United States Embassy from Tel Aviv to Jerusalem than the two of you and President Trump. And you, there's time for me to later on. <laughs> to honor, to honor uh, your contribution, uh, I have uh, caused the United States flag to fly over this embassy. Uh, these two flags that I'm going to present to the two of you are two of the earliest flags. I have a third one that we'll bring back to the president, but I'd like to present each of you with the United States flag that flew over at the United States Embassy in Jerusalem in its early opening days. But I can't do that, thank you. This is for you, Mr. Vice President. Thank you, Mr. President. Maybe. All right, thanks, Press. Thanks, Press. Thanks, guys.